Hey everyone, Benjamin here. In this video, we are going to be looking at four interesting updates Canva has come up with. And look, these updates would be so helpful, especially if you are on the free version of Canva. Some of them, you know, when you're on the free version of Canva, but generally it's actually for everybody. So let's dive straight into it. <clears throat> And before we actually get into it, I just want to say that look, calm down, relax, get yourself some. You no, know, I actually licked this. No, no, you let me just put it down. Um, <laughs> so calm down, and I'm just going to walk you through every single thing you need to know about this update. The first update has to do with retouching your photos from Pixabay directly inside of Canva. So let me just take you through what you need to do. The first place you need to go to is pixabay.com. You know, this is a free stock photo website where you can actually get free images to use for your content and for anything at all you want to use for and the interesting thing is that you know pixabay has photos illustrations it has videos in there it has music sound effect you know everything at all you need as a creator you can be able to get it here so this image looks so beautiful to me so let's say i wanted to actually use it um you know in canva and initially the process would have to be with you know searching for the image after you find the image you want to use download it and upload it inside of canva which was just a lot of work to do but now the process is very easy let me just show you what you need to do let me just close this up at the moment and um, i'll just have to come to free download and you see we have retouch with canva over here and this is actually the magic when it comes to this you know just a button solves a whole lot of problem a whole lot of problem you know so let me just click and let's see what happens so you should see that um the photo is being transferred into canva and um once it's done we should be able to do every single thing inside of canva okay so it's saying you no know, let me use the browser so use browser instead okay and uh everything should open beautifully okay so yeah this is it and we have the image here inside of canva this is very beautiful so we can see our image has been brought inside of canva and you know once it's in canva you can actually do anything at all you want to do with the image if it has to do with removing the background of the image and all of that we can actually do that but you know with the type of person i am i usually love to add some extra touches to my image so i can just come in to adjust reduce the brightness a little bit you know improve the contrast uh, saturation to boost the colors and um, the blur to make it extra sharp i'll reduce it vignette maybe just a little bit okay and the clarity more vibrance more to make you know just to give the colors an extra boost and you can see how you know it's actually looking at the moment let me you know yeah zoom in a little bit so you can see how this is looking so this is one of the coolest features with canva you now do not have to download photos from pixabay and you know migrate them into canva or to upload them into canva just with a click you know you can have your image transferred into canva so that you can continue working and the second thing is remove.bg canva has also come up with something similar like what we saw in remove.bg and let's just have a look at it okay so i'll first of all um you know just go into remove.bg bg okay so let's go into uh that place and uh, you can see we have upload image so i'll just click on upload image why is this things in fact let me just adjust this quickly focus okay so i'll come into download and in download i should just find any of my cool photos so you know i'll just choose any of these Ghanaian soccer players okay and uh, you know during the world cup we actually had so much hopes in them but they couldn't deliver you know to our expectation and which was very sad you know yeah so let's dive into it we are not talking about football we are talking about canva all right so now that we have this initially this the process was actually similar to what we had on pixabay you actually had to download the image and then re-upload it in canva but now the process is you know simple and much much easy you will see this you know text over here which is our design then create your free design and here we have it inside of canva we can continue with our design so whatever i need to do i can just do it from here click on this in the background i can choose any color of my choice so you can see how the process has become so 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 easy very very easy 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 all right so especially if you're on the free version of canva this is the very cool feature canva has come up with now let's talk about video editing so when it comes to video editing you know one of the important things we all need is transitions and as part of this canva has come up with a very cool transition initially i made a video on element timing if you haven't seen it make sure to check it out after this video the link is in the description box below but with the new transition i'm talking 
about let's just have a look at how it works okay so just to test it out okay i'm just going back into my home and click on videos okay then i'll just click on create blank video so it should open and we should get started quickly so this is the video editing workspace and first of all we'll just come into videos just to add some few videos in here okay so um i'll choose the timeline and reduce it okay and click on the second one and add another uh, video so set as video you know just to set the video as background and with this you know you can do a whole lot you can just trim and all that so i right click set video as background so to be able to use this transition this is what you need to do first of all click on the plus icon over here and you should see um add transition there's add page and add transition but what we need to do is to click on add transition okay and uh, it should open beautifully over here the new transition canva has come up with is the color wipe transition and you know this transition actually gives you so much flexibility and customization options is my english even correct you know so let's just take a look at it so, you know you can first of all choose the direction of the transition how you want it to appear okay you know you can choose bottom you know side left side right side up side you know you can just choose all of that from here so if i just want the it to come diagonally it should be a diagonal uh, transition you can see how beautiful it looks then we can actually customize the colors so with the colors if i want to be so crazy i can you know choose interesting colors like this so you see how beautiful it looks and uh, i believe this is one of the very cool transitions canva has actually come up with and uh, you can do so more you can do so more with it so check it out test it out and let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below so now let's talk about the next feature canva has come up with which is the project in editor okay and with this feature i believe it's a very cool feature that helps you to import all designs quickly inside of canva now let's see how it works so now let's say i had to make a new design but some of the things i needed was from an old design okay all i need to do is to make sure i have the project but if you are new and you haven't used it yet you have to come to apps and um you know you would see it from here okay but generally it should be here so you can just click on project and you can see all your old designs okay so i can just maybe choose you know images videos you can come into designs you know just even search for designs if let's say i've made a design called video background so i can just say it for video press enter and it will come up with all the stuff i have done okay so in this case let's say i wanted to add an image i used in the previous design okay Okay, so i can just choose it and here i have it inside of canva if it's a full design we can actually import it in here so i can choose any of these videos i worked on okay and you can see it's been imported inside of canva this is actually a very cool feature canva has come up with and honestly speaking i use this feature on a daily basis especially when i'm designing carousels because how else can you speed up your work if you're not going to be using templates so i have templates i use and i always get to import them using this new feature and i hope you know with all of these things i've spoken about if you haven't tested them out you know i think it's a very um, good time to test them out because you're in the holidays and we have less pressure right now to work so you can test them out and get used to it let me also know what you think about these features in the comment section below the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video <laughs>